we're gonna make a basket right and what you need is this I really know what I call it but it's really like thick interfacing like it's it's um, fusible but it's really thick that would make the basket hold its shape when I put things in it and doesn't like you know, flop um, so you'd also need something round that you want um, like the size of the basket you want I'm just using this uh, what's, it called? what's this thing called? a sieve right so that's what I'm gonna use to trace out my circle first of all I'm gonna cut out the shape of the basket so I'm gonna just trace the the circle in the round Otherwise, I'll be going round and round and round with no end infinity. Okay, it's about 25 inches, plus I'd also need 1 inch to join, so that's 26 inches. Okay, so I measured out my circle, the circumference of my circle, and it was 25 inches. And then I added one inch to you know join it together. So that's 26 inches. And then I cut out the same for my lining. But first of all, let's go ahead with the um, ironing. So what I want to do, guys, I hope I don't hope this doesn't take forever. Is find the sticky side yeah the fusible side I want to iron scrap fabric on it and then quilt it a little bit just so it has like some sort of character design so I've made some progress so what I'm doing is just cutting and um, placing the fabric on the interfacing and then ironing it um, put yeah <laughs> that's what I'm doing basically Beautiful, oh my goodness, it is so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna do this, do the same thing for the base, and then I'm gonna trim off the excess fabric. Okay, so it's time to quilt, quilt around the edges just to seal it in place. fun I'm done I used a decorative zigzag stitch and I just made sure that I was stitching close to the edge of each piece of fabric so I'm gonna move on to the straight piece now this one might take a while just quilt all the edges down so all the edges the, the edges of the fabric down okay so I'm done quilting this as well And look at how the back looks like <laughs> it's, it's a mess at the back but this won't be seen because we're gonna use the lining so what I'm gonna do next is um, join the lining pieces on the side so that it will be as long as this okay <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so it's joined on one side, so it's a long piece now, and I'm also going to fold it still right sides together and sew it close. Okay, so for the lining piece now, I've sewn it on both sides, so it's like a tube now, right? So to make it, to make this piece similar, I'll fold it as well, right sides together, and um, sew it close with a straight stitch at half an inch in allowance. Okay, now I'm going to attempt to press this seam open. It is so thick. So what I'm going to do is just pin all around. You need to be patient with this because it's very thick material and it's, um, it's like pinning squares into circles it's difficult so just pin all around okay so I'm done pinning Ooh, that took a lot of like muscle power um, so I'm just gonna sew around take it to my sewing machine and sew around and thankfully I already have like a demarcation and where, where to sew so that would be easy Okay now, just going to notch all around the circle to make it easier to turn it. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is pin my lining to the main um, basket. So place it right sides together and basically just pin all around and sew it with a straight stitch. Yeah, guys, I've, <laughs> I've lost a couple of pins today. Just trying to get this pinned. And you won't be able to sew all around, so when you get to a point where you can sew anymore, you're gonna just turn it right side out and top stitch. Like fold the remaining part in and top stitch, so that's what you're gonna do. Okay, so I've gone as far as I can and I have this much space. It's quite a lot, but yeah, I'm just gonna fold like the same allowance inside. So I'm just going to top stitch around and the basket will be ready. My basket is done. I love it. Let's try this out. I'm going to put my skincare products inside so it's not just like lame helter scatter on my table <laughs> let's go okay so i do hope you find time to make something similar a basket to keep your things organized you don't have to go out and buy a new basket you can have fun while making a new one for yourself okay so i hope you do give it a try let me know share with me on my social media and instagram at plumes secrets i think that's it <laughs> i forgot my handle but yeah uh, my social media handles will be linked below or send me an email yeah 
anything but i would really love to see your creations so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys